Story Insights has been enabled to monitor IBM Spectrum virtualized storage systems without data collectors. The current way of collecting the data from flash system and other storage devices is using the data collector, which is shown in the left side, which means that the data collector, which is a, a service, it will be deployed on one of the VM server or on a, on a VM or a server. So that would connect to the flash system and then it would stream the data to the IBM Store Insights in a secure manner. So that's the current way of collecting the data from storage devices. And with the latest release in Q4 2022, this has been enhanced for IBM Spectrum virtualized storage systems. So without having data collector deploy, so the flash system is going to stream the data similar to data collector using IBM call home with cloud services enabled. So it would collect the same kind of data in terms of health, capacity and performance. And it will also allow you to open a ticket pretty similar to how you do with the data collector. And this has been available with IBM, IBM SAN volume controller and IBM flash system storage systems family with having IBM Spectrum Virtualize software version 8.5.3 and later. All the security measures are in place to, to, to protect metadata and communicate from flash system to IBM Storage Insights in a secure manner using IBM call home. And to onboard a storage system from IBM Spectrum Virtualize, IBM, Store, IBM Spectrum Virtualize, you can do using two ways. One is CLI way, another one is you can log into the management GUI of storage system. So that will give you the workflow to onboard your storage system into the storage insights. So when you log into the IBM Flash system that supports uh, IBM, IBM Cloud Call Home enabled for cloud services, so it will give you a notification to add a device. And uh, when you click on add device, so it will ask you to enter your IBM ID and that will fetch all the storage insights tenants associated with that IBM ID. So for today's demo, so I have used the CL, CLI way of onboarding your storage system into the IBM Store Insights. So to onboard your flash system to store insights via IBM Cloud Call Home Enabled Services, the prerequisite is that you should have a tenant ID in place. Okay. If you don't have tenant ID, no worries, you can always use Store Insights UI to sign up for IBM Store Insights. So the mentioned over here. For today's demo, I have used the, the Call Home uh, I have used command line way of onboarding IBM Spectrum Virtualized Storage System in Store Insights. It's very easy to onboard, a, onboard your storage device. So there are th three commands that will help you to manage your storage system to attach it uh, to attach to a tenant ID. LS Cloud Call Home will give you the details about the man uh, about the tenant ID configuration, and CH Cloud Call Home if an SI tenant ID and give a tenant ID. So this will send a request to Store Insights to add it to the Store Insights. And CH Cloud Call Home Clear T9, basically it will disassociate your tenant ID from a device. Yeah, let me log into Flash system using the command line. Let me check if there is any tenant has been associated with the device. Let me use ls cloud call home command. All right, so I don't see any value has been assigned to SI tenant ID. So let me assign a tenant to this storage system using ch call cloud call home command. But before assigning a tenant, I will also show you the store insights uh, UI. So if you go to the store insights UI here, 
So there are three storage systems. And uh, when I enable when I enable the the storage device with the tenant, I should be able to get a request to add to the storage system, storage insights. And when I approve it, I should be able to see that device in my storage insights GUI. So let me quickly store insights. CH Cloud call form SI tenant and give the tenant ID. So this is the same tenant ID I've been using here. So if you observe the tenant ID over here, so in the same tenant ID has been using to onboard it. So let me quickly run this command. Yeah, the command has been executed. Now if you see the the LS Cloud call home output, you should be able to see that you know the device has been assigned to the this tenant. Now, if you go to the store inside GI, so you will see a notification here. You have cloud call home device that is requested to be added to your store insights. You get a notification and if you click on more details, it will give you the details about the flash system that we are trying to add. So this is a flash system we are trying to add to our store insights and you have an option whether to approve a storage system or decline a storage system if you don't want to monitor it. So let me approve this storage system um, to monitor in my tenant. Yeah. So earlier we had three storage systems and this is the storage system that we have just added and it is it will go through the similar step of sim, similar steps similar to the data collector in terms of discovery and probe and discovery has been completed and probe has also been completed so that is the reason you see probe has some success so if you go to the task notifications so you will also see the a, a task that has been completed uh, recently that I have added it for adding onboarding a flash system into my storage insights. So it will take some more time to start the performance uh, status performance status to come into running to collect the data. So let me work wait for some time. So similar to probe, the performance collection status also changed to running, which means that the performance has been consumed by the store insights and it is processing it. So let's go, I mean, um, you can also see the, not only the health status, you can also see um, all the capacity information, for example, you know, return capacity limit and uh, usable, ca usable capacity, use capacity percentage, available capacity, form version and so on. So it will show the similar information as uh, information that has been collected by the data collector. So if you go inside the details of the storage system, so you can also see the components, different hardware components, log logical components and connectivity components that have been collected as part of the probe. And it would also give you the high level capacity information. And you can also see the, there's a get support pretty similar to how you can create a ticket with the data collector way. So you can also you know, create a ticket and update a ticket. Okay. So this will give you the same, same set of features as supported by the data collector today. So I will show another way to approve the device. So I have seen, I have shown you a way to approve a device from the notification way and the messages will also be sent to the advisor. So if you go to the advisor message here. Yeah, if you go here, so you can also see that the same set of requests are you know, reported under advisor tab. So uh, there is two requests. So one has been declined and one has been approved. So if a device has been declined, so advisor will allow you to approve it again. So for example, if you just double click on this particular advisor message, so it will give you the it will give you the 
details about the device and it will also allow you to re-approve the, the device so that that will get added into the storage insights. So even if you declare a device, this will allow you to add device back to your storage insights. Okay. So uh, this would complete the demo.